15 or at least 10 years older than I am. Look, look ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to welcome you here to see uh, okay. friends and neighbours. It's very, very important that you're here. The late James and Catherine Ward opened this licensed premises on the 17th of March in 1900. These were our good friend Patricia's and Kathleen's maternal grandparents. In 1933, the late James Brennan and his wife Mary Ward took over this premises and today, 118 years and 197 days after that original opening, we gather to mark Patricia's retirement and to celebrate her and her family's contribution to the fabric of Pondoran and the Northwest. This place and the Brennan Ward families have been and are neighbours, friends, hospitality providers, and the confidants of very many people. Patricia and her late sister Nan supported local sporting community and trade groups and they were a very integral and very supportive part of our community. Over the years, Brennan's has hosted national and international politicians and in fact I remember a very famous night when we had a Taoiseach at Taunishja and within a couple of weeks they were gone. <laughs> but again, we've enjoyed having international and national business leaders here. The celebrated musician, record producer and songwriter Phil Coulter was a regular patron and is a regular patron here. But he's the only guy of that caliber who was asked not to sing. <laughs> Uh, the late Colin Welland, dear, dear friend of mine, actor, screenwriter, BAFTA, Act Academy Award winner for the great film Chariots of Fire, counted this place as his local when he visited Bundorn on many, many occasions. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the, the Irish writer Flan O'Brien, my literary guys like Carl Duggan will remember fondly, uh, Flan O'Brien, who was born in Strabane, and he visited here in the late 1950s, and his tagline was, the pint of pain is your only man. And no doubt his literary efforts were inspired by Brennan's and their great pint of pain. Over the past week, I have had a number of messages from colleagues, LinkedIn, LinkedIn friends, and Facebook people uh, who were Brennan's alumni over the last number of years, not only from Ireland, the UK or Northern Ireland, but from places like Netherlands, Germany, France and the Far East, Australia, New Zealand, and even as early as this morning I had uh, uh, our friend uh, Mr. Hamru from uh, New Zealand who contacted me just to say uh, that he was sorry to hear that this pub was, was, was closing. So with all this, there's only one thing certain, that once anybody enters the door of Brennan's Criterion Bar, regardless of gender, race, creed, or social status, everyone is the same once they cross that door. A criterion is something that is a rule or a principle for evaluating or te testing something. It's a standard or a benchmark. Brennan's is the standard that many licensed premises far and wide aspire to. We're all very, very fortunate to have been patrons, friends, and neighbours of the Brennan family. Tonight, we join together to wish Patricia good health and much happiness in the next chapter of your very interesting, valuable, and selfless life. You, Patricia, will continue to be a neighbour, a friend, and a very important member of our community. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to join me in toasting Patricia, Kathleen, Sean, or Seamus, and all the members of the Brennan, Ward, and McGowan families who have worked and lived in this house and served our community in so many and valuable ways. 
Patricia, thank you, and Slauncher. Thank you.